Hey everyone, welcome back for part 2, where I will be taking on the first boss. And I decided to pick this one right here, which is the truck. The boss being... Grizzly Slash. As usual, their bosses are named and modeled after animals. As you can tell, this one is probably a grizzly bear. Ready. And his attack is flashy, <laughs> of course. The obligatory train level. And a name that I came. They don't stray too far off of key patterns. X4 had a um, train level as well. Not exactly like this, but very similar. We go from part to part. Another new function in the game is the ability to climb these ropes right here. They're in some levels. You don't use it too often, but it is uh, pretty interesting. And as you might have noticed, the one of the most important new things that in this game is the ability to duck. Duck under build um shots. And also fire while you're ducking to go inside. As a whole new dimension to the gameplay, really, the fighting. That's the energy tank. You show almost the only time to get that. I got it with 3 seconds to spare, so. Anyone should be able to. He really is dashing a lot, of course. Another tip is if you can't always try to stay charging, because you never know when anything might pop up. Here is the first piece, like every other Mega Man X game, the first armor piece. But this game is unlike the rest, because this game you need to collect all four pieces before you can use the armor. In the previous ones, you get the pieces function as soon as you collect it, and it gets on, puts on, put on you instantly, which is nice. But it's alright. And the game also has two different armors, which is another uh, nice little uh, feature. At least they keep things interesting, right? Time to fight the first boss. I wonder why they call him Grizzly Clash. Look at that big claw of his. That is a definite. It's a. It's definitely good for slashing, I bet. He's infected by the Sigma virus. He's gonna turn into a Maverick any second, basically, and he wants to fight. Typical. Time to fight. He's very simple to beat, even without a weakness. As you can see, no problems yet. He switches his style up once you take him down from it, so he will make it easy. Digging. Which I guess is what that ball is also. Here it comes out from behind. Here it comes from below. Or here it comes from the top. And he has one more attack. Which I'll show you if he does.
After every mission, you get a mission report, gives you clear time, map of completed, damage received, and total rank. The rank could be anything like A, B, I believe C, D, um, and above, above that there's S, A, P, A, and G, A, I believe. So I believe the best is P, A, or U, H, Ultimate Hunter. I believe, something like that. I usually get an A, which is fine with me. It's based on how quick you defeat the level, how many enemies you defeat, and how much damage you get take to hit. I usually try to go for doing it quick and skipping a lot of enemies rather than destroying them, so that might have an effect on the score. Makes his entrance. He induces himself as Dynamo. <laughs> and of course, you will fight him. Just not right. See on the lower left here, this is where it shows your armor pieces, and as I said, there's two different armors. So, the head, body, arm, the leg. And then underneath that, second armor. Okay. On the lower right, you see the parts that you received. Which I don't have any yet, so... Come back to that. That is all for this part, however. Tune in next time, or I will see you on the second. Thanks for watching.